Hello and welcome to the 23rd tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the for loop. Loops essentially allow you to repeat code, helping reduce code as well. This could be useful for example if you have an array of high scores and you want to print out the scores you could loop through the array and if let's say the array is only only holds five scores uh, you, you could individually print them out like uh, doing one line for each print but imagine if you had a thousand scores or a hundred scores or even more then that's going to be a lot of lines of code whereas if you use a loop you can not only make it dynamic but you can like I said repeat code let's just show you the syntax of a for loop the next few tutorials will just be covering the different types of loops for loop is probably what you'll use the most. So let's get rid of that. And the syntax of for loop is you use keyword for. Then actually I'll just go back, keyword for, then you open close bracket, and the first part is you initialize any variable. So we're gonna do int i equals zero. The next section, as it says, is the condition. So as long as this condition is true, the loop will be run. You generally don't want an infinite loop, so you you do want the condition to end. So i less than five. So while i is less than five, it starts at zero, and it, this is usually the section where you affect this variable. So it's going to put i plus plus, and then in here you just put what you want to do, and we're just going to do std c out. So we're going to just print out i and we're going to say iteration colon i std and line and now if we run that it's going to open up the debug window there we go it's printed out zero one two three four we started at zero and it's while i is less than five not equal to five but if we put less than or equal to it'll end at five that is literally it for for loops. It, it's that simple. Obviously, some, this is something that, like I say, you will use a lot. And it is immensely powerful. And it's something that you, it's just experimentation uh, to actually truly get to grips with it. This is just an overview of the syntax and what it is. And you can obviously have nested for loops. You can have a for loop within an if statement or an if within a for loop and what have you. Like a if statement, you don't have to have these brackets, but if you don't have the brackets, then it only runs the line immediately following, the, I mean the actual code line, because if I put a space there or a new line, it doesn't see that as a actual coding line, but it only runs the coding line immediately following the for loop within that loop. So if I were to do here, std c out std and line and run this it only prints out 44 once because it's not within the for loop if you don't put brackets out it's only one line that is included within the for loop but if you do actually put brackets you can put as many lines as you want like I said, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sunglassystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part, we'll be looking at the while loop, very similar to the for loop. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.